support is one. Okay. Okay, don't worry, Homo, okay? So I will create a later, okay? All right, last time we did the proportionality relationship um, between- Dr. Chung. Yep, go ahead. Um, I don't know uh, about everyone else, but I didn't get homework. Yeah, I didn't, like you didn't send oh, out. really? Me yeah. too. Okay, let me find out, okay? Yeah. All right, so last time, so I think you don't need the homework. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine, okay. Uh, anyway, let me take a look, okay? I'm sorry about that. All right. I'll check it out, okay? All right. All right. Now, we start the graph from this uh, proportional relationship. We learned by proportional relationship, the ratio, we have two variable, we have two variable, X and Y. There's just some proportional relationship there. What is this proportional relationship? Y is always Y K times X or Y over X is a constant. This is a K, right? The ratio between these two variables always is some numbers. So from here, you can find this, right? Times K, times K, uh, times X, times X, okay? So I'm gonna write down one more, yeah. Y over X equals K, so times X, times X, Y equals to KX form. This is, we said equation four, isn't it? K is about some numbers that are the proportional constant. It can be one, two, or three, or four. For example, if Y equals three X, proportional constant is what, three. Uh, that means what? When X equals one, when X equals one, Y is a three, right? Three times one is three. When X equals two, three times two is six. Or it what? Times three times three, okay? This one is we said between X and Y, there is proportional relationship. What is proportional relationship? Okay, we can check it out, all right? So we can express what the value of X and Y on the graph, that is a graph, all right? Okay. Now over here, all the numbers between X and Y is proportional variables is what? X and Y are proportional relationship. Right? Between X and Y proportional relationship. Take a look over here, I'm gonna write down over here, this is value by X, this is the value by Y. We don't know, we need only one pair, right? When X is four, Y is three, but that's enough. Using this one, can you find proportional constant? Y equals KX, right? That is equation of proportional relationship. But we know that when X equals four, Y equals 12. When X equals four, Y is 12. Put this number, Y is 12. When X is a four, from these two numbers, we can find the value of K. Anybody know what is the value of K? What is the value of K? You can divide it by four. The value of K equals three, isn't it? That means what? There are just some relationship between X and Y. Y equals always what? Three times this value of X. That's the equation of relationship. You guys with me? Using only this number, that's enough because all the other number is the same number because they said the variables are proportional variables. 
Are you guys with me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now using these two numbers, x is a 10, when x is a 10, y is 5. Always y equals, okay? So can you find proportional constant or find proportional equations? Can you find that? Anybody can find that equation? To find the equation, we need to find what this number k already. We need to find this number. We need this number. How can you find this number using this two? Okay, write down because uh, the equation of a proportionality is y equal kx. Just define, oh, y should be equal to kx. The only things you have to do is to find the value of k using one pair of x variable y value. When x is a 10, y is a 5, right? When x is a 10, y is 5. So 5 equals k times 10, isn't it? Using these numbers, can you find the value of k? Anybody can find the value of k? You can divide by 10, okay? You can divide by 10. k equals 5 over 10 is what is that? 1 over 2, isn't it? After you find the value of k, you can replace over here. So the equation is what? The value of y always one over two times, half times the value of x. That's the equation. Using these two points, we just find what? Equation. Because they are proportional. Proportion means well, always the equation should be in this format. That is okay? Okay, now try number C. Now let's find the equation. Okay, try this one by yourself. I'll give you some minutes, okay? Anybody can find the equation? Okay, he said already the variables are in proportional relationship. So proportional to have a proportional relationship, the equation should be looked at like this one, y equals k times x. But when x is to six, Y is a 10. Using these numbers, can you find the value of K? Or you can find the value of K directly. Y over X is what the value of K, isn't it? Can you see it over here? Y over X is what the value of K. What is the value of Y? 10. What is the value of X? 6. 
this is the value of k. When you simplify it, divided by 2 is 3, divided by 2 is 5. Yeah, the value of k equals 5 over 3. Put this number up here. Now we got five the relationship, which is what equation y equals five over three x. That's the equation. Are you guys with me? A little hard. Okay, using the equation, yeah, using the equation, we're gonna find okay when x is two. Now what is the y? This is the equation. Always y equals what? Three times the value of x. So what is this y? Three times the value of x is two. It's gonna be six. When x is two, the value of y is six. Okay, you can write x is two, y equal value of six. You can find all other points. This is the equation y equal y half of the dx. I'm gonna write down over here, y equal half of that value of x. When x is 16, y do what? Half of that, one over two times 16 equals eight, isn't it? So when x equals 16, plus 16, y must be equals to eight. Always what the value of y, half of the x. You can see that five is half of the 10, eight is a half of a 16. All right, number C, the equation is about five over three times X. When X is nine, what is the value of Y? Put this number X is over here, right? Okay, so what is Y? Y equals five over three times nine, isn't it? Are you guys okay? Yeah? Yeah. Right. So five times nine is 45 over three. 45 divided by three equals 15, right? So when x is nine, y equals 15. That's the way you can find the answer. First, you have to memorize what is the proportional relationship? What is the proportional variables? We have two variables, x and y. Proportional or means what? Always y equals k times x. This is we said x and y are proportional variables, or x and y are proportional relationship. When you have this form, when you have this form, this is k times k can be any numbers. One, two, three, four, any numbers. Two times, three times, four times, five times. So in this case, we said x and y, x and y are proportional variables. Or you can say x and y are in proportional relationship. Dr. Chung. Yes. Uh, I'm still a little confused of how um, to know when the uh, 5 over 3 comes in for the y. So, like, for that question, x Oh, yeah. Plus. Okay. Now, when x and y proportional relationship, you have to use this form, right? y equals k times x. What is this one equals? To find the k, to find the k, this number, you can divide by x both sides. So k equals what? y over x. You can use over here, y over x give us what the number of k. OK? So we set the y because they are proportional variables. So y equals k times x. From here, x is what? How about the x? y over x to k, right? When y is 10 over here, X is how much? Six. That is the value of K. But like, I'm confused of how to know it's 10. Oh, wait, never mind. Never 10 mind. is over here. Y is 10. When Y is 10, X is just six. 
Yeah, sorry, I just okay. That for all right, so this is a very uh, basic to go into function. Very special case. We are doing very special case. We're gonna have some practice over here. All right. Take a over here, exercise two. Okay. Always y is what? Constant multiple over variable x. This is k times x. That means y equals always what? k times value of x. Okay. So this value of k called what? Constant multiple or constant proportional constant. May I use the restroom? Oh yeah, go ahead. What dilation constant? We did already, okay? All right, except this one, this is a war problem. We're gonna do this later, okay? We're gonna have some more data over here, take a look. Okay, uh, just, all right, exercise three, it said variables X and Y proportionally related. So X and Y is a proportional variables. We know that X and Y are proportional variables. What that means, Y can be expressed this way, K times X, that's it. When you have this form, we said X and Y are in proportional relationship. It's okay. Proportional related. This is a proportional variables. Always you need this form. Y equals K times X. The only things you have to do is find the value of K. How can you find the value of K? We got the right two point of here. How can you find the K? K equals already what? Y divided by X, isn't it? That is the value of K. You can choose what? Only one point, that's enough. All the other points that give us the same number. Are you okay? Anybody can find the value of K now? Anybody can find the value of K? The value of K is what? The value of Y divided by value of X. We did already one value of Y, one value of X. You can use this one. All the other we don't know. We cannot use what the other point. Okay, only this point is given. Okay, now you can use this point. What is the value of y? Value of y is a six. What is the value of x? Value of x is a four. When you simplify, that is what? Three over two, isn't it? That is the value of k. After you find the value of k, put this number into the here. Now we got the y equation. Always y, I'm gonna write the y equals three over two is 1.5 times X. That's the equation. Now using the equation, we can find what other point. When X equals negative two, what is Y? Negative three times negative two, right? Y is what? Three over two times negative two or 1.5 times negative two. This is how much? Negative three is okay. Now three times negative two is negative six over two equals negative three. When x equals negative two, y is negative three. What is the value of y when x equals zero? The value of y is what? When x equals zero, how much? Three over two times zero. Any number when you multiply zero is gonna be always zero, right? This is zero. 
when x is 2, what is the value of y? Put this number into the equation. 3 over 2 times 2 is how much? 6 over 2 equals 3, right? Yeah, this is 3 again. X is 4, we did already. But we're going to check it. 3 over 2 times 4 is what? 3 times 4, 12, and divided by 2 is 6. That's true. What is the value of y when x is 6? 3 over 2 times 6. 3 times 6 is what? 18 divided by 2 is 9, right? This number is 9. What is the value of y when x equals 8? 3 over 2 times 8, that is the value of y. 3 times 4 is 24, over 2 is what, 12. When x is 8, y is 12. That's the graph. Anybody can understand? Mm. All right, the first one. One by one, we check it out one more times. State, state an equation for the y in terms of x. We did already. Kx, no, we just find the k over here. Three over two. So the answer for number one is y equals three over two x, or y equals 1.5x. It doesn't matter. That's the answer. Okay, especially when x is just six, what is the value of y? Put this number x is just here, right? Or with y is what? 3.2 times x is just six. That is what? Nine, isn't it? Three times six is what? 18 and divided by two is nine. Okay, when x is uh, eight, what happened? I'll put this number there, we already got 12. Okay, one more time, three over two times x is eight equals what? 24 over two is what? 12. We can find the, the value of y. Can you see that over here, when x is increased, Two, how much increased in y? Can you see that? This is x increased two, right? Increased by two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Yeah, that is increased by two. How much increased by y? We are zero minus minus three. This is increased by three. I'm going to just do this is increased by three, same number, right? This is already increased by two. And Y is what increased by three, isn't it? Three, 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 three. So when X increased by two, what is increasing the Y? Three is the answer. What that means? X is what always X X. This is X. Okay, this is X. X is increased two. Y is increased by three. So X is increased uh, two. Y is increased three. This is the next point. To find the additional point, we need what this one. We need this one. This is what it is. They'll change their graph. X increased by two, Y increased by three. What is this? Three over two, right? Change in Y over change in X is what? Three over two. What is this? Where is this? We could, we saw that before. This number, isn't it? When X increased by two, Y increased by three. This is we said slope. Actually, the valuable k, the valuable k is a slope. Three over two is a slope. Okay, now we're gonna try, okay, the graph. 
This is our purge time. Okay, using the table here. When x is, uh, I'm going to try, to try this one, zero, 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 okay? When x equals zero, y is zero. When x equals zero, y is zero, the graph will start from this point. That's a starting point. Everybody follow me, right? Where's the next point? When x is two, y is three. When x is two, is move to the right by two, y is move up by three. That's the that's next point. Using the slope, you can find, okay, next point. That's why slope is very important. What is slope? Actually, the variable k is slope. The next one. No, same pattern, same pattern. Another one, increase two, three, okay, another. Right, two, three again. That's the next point. That's the next point. Another one. Right, two, two, up three, right? When you move to the right, two again, but Y increase what? Three, that's the next point. So using this pattern, we can find Y or additional point. Keep continue. Now I'm gonna make a peek. Okay, two increase to the right and up increase by three. That is the next point. That's the pattern. Two right to one three. That's the last point. Out of right graph. Now the other side of the graph. How can you find that? You can use this one. Three down to left. Three down to left. That is the next point. No more three down, right? So we're gonna make a Connect this one. That's the graph. That's the graph. I'm gonna make another graph side, the other side too. Okay, this is the graph of what? Y equals three over two X. Can you see that? Because we know that when X equals zero, Y equals zero over here, right? When X equals zero, Y equals, this is our starting point. Using this one, we're gonna find next point. We're gonna find next point. We're gonna find next point. It's already, we got the find already. When X is two, Y is three, right? When X is two, Y is three. That's the next point. The next one, what is that? When X is four, Y is six. When X is four, four, Y is six. That's the next point. When X equals six, Y is nine. That's the next point. We already got on in paper. Or using their slope, you can find the right, the next point automatically, okay? That's the next point, next point. With same pattern, this is another to the left, another point. This is the graph of y equals three over two x. Out of a heart. Can you see this? Uh, can you see? Uh, can you see this in the equation? Three over two. Yes. Any two points. Three over two. That's the slope. Slope is what is that? Slope with a change in y over change in x. That's the slope. Okay, now check out another one. At this point, eventually pass, the graph will eventually pass this point. How do we know that? How do we know that this point, 0.6, we have a 0.6 on there. Yep, 4 and 6, what? The line pass through this point. Yeah, that's true. How do we check it? 
when you put this number into the equation, they must be equal, right? You can check this one. When x is four, put this number six over here. If they are equal, this point should be on the line. This is six, three times four is 12 divided by two is six. They are equal, right? That's why four and six on this line. Now how to check this one? Put this number into the equation again, y equals three over two x. If they are equal, yeah, this point should be on this line or the line pass through this point. Okay, when x is 18, y to 24, y to 24 equals what? Three over two times 18, isn't it? It's okay. Check it out. 18 divided by two is about nine. So three times nine, you are 27, 27 not equal 24. So this line up to here, up to here, you're going to up to 18 around over here. To be equal, it should be 24, right? 27, isn't it? When you put over here, 27. It should be 27 over here, but this is only 24 over here, a little bit lower than this number. So this line cannot pass at this point. This is what, no. Any questions about this? I understand this is your first time to going into a function. It looks a little hard, but just try to understand. Okay, all this one is, you can see that y is what, five over times four times x. Second one is what? one third of a times x. No, there's no any other number. There's no number. There's no number like this one. Okay. What is this? What I go about? Okay. There's no number. No number, no number, just what? Value of y is what? K times x. This is we said x and y proportional variables. Okay. Or with the type is what is the y equals k times x, isn't it? So this proportional relationship, the graph always what? When x equals zero, y should be always zero. The graph should pass what? Always zero and zero. This is we said variable x and y are proportional variables. If they pass this way, it this times x and y, not any more proportional variables. Proportional variables what only the graph will pass what this point origin. Because you know that x equals zero, y origin zero. Okay, when x equals zero, y equals zero. If what about this one? Two x plus five. X equals zero, y is zero? No, x equals zero, y is five. When x is equal to zero, y is five over here. This graph is not proportional relationship. Only the graph will pass what? Zero and zero, that is proportional relationship. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now using this one k, the value of k, this, using this value of k, we know the right, how the graph move on the graph. 
Okay, how the graph move on the graph. So we're gonna have write some more practice over here, okay? Uh, I'm gonna put over here some red paper. Okay, we're gonna have a sort of 10 minute break, okay? So I need a time to unload my great paper, graph paper, okay? Okay, everybody uh, has some break, okay? 10 minutes break, come back here, uh, 150, okay? Come back here, 150. Okay, do the work. During the break, I'm gonna make a graph paper, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, recording. I missed by uh, some minutes, okay? Now it's recording, okay? All right. Oh boy, I forgot. Okay, now we're gonna try the homework together, okay? Take a look at number one. We said proportional relationship. That means what? Y should be equals K times X. This form or Y over X equals something like this form. It's the same, but different expression, right? It's exactly the same, okay? It should be this one over this form. Then we can say the variable X and Y are in proportional relationship. So anybody that can give the answer number one, which, which equation give us what proportional relationship between the variables? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? They said which of the following is a constant? This is a constant k, constant k. This is a constant k. This is a constant k. Which expression is in proportional relationship? Anybody can give me the answer? Uh, let me see. Amelia there? Belly, can you give me the answer up here? Brianna? Mm -hmm. What about, okay, go ahead. Four? Yeah, number four, right? Yeah. Okay, the ratio y to the x is already constant to this set there they are in proportional relationship, okay? Okay, now the next one. Yeah, they are proportional relationship. They, it, it's already said that, what that means. You can use like, this one or this one, it doesn't matter. You can use anything. The ratio between the y value over x value always a constant. I'm gonna use this one y value over x value should be constant. This has the same numbers. So when x equal nine, this so x is down anyway, and x equal nine, y is a 15. That's the ratio, right? So the next one, when x equal 24, what is the value of y? They must have the same ratio. Using this proportion, you can find the value of y, right? I go to, okay. All right. Now cross multiplications, you can find the value of y. Nine times y is a nine y, 15 times 24. Okay, and you can divide by nine over here. Before you multiply two numbers in numerator, just to simplify. 15 is a multiple of three, right? And nine also divided by nine is three, divided by, I'm sorry, divided by three is three, 
divided by 3 is 5, okay? Now 24 is a multiple of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 28 divided by 3 is 8. Not denominator all 1, numerator about 5 times 4, 8 is about 40, right? Can you do it this way? Or Confused. Yeah, nine y equals what? Fifteen times twenty. Fifteen times twenty is how much? Everyone know that? Fifteen um, times twenty-four. Sixty. Three. Three. Three hundred sixty, right? So that is equal to three hundred sixty. That is equals to nine times y. When you divide by nine over here, y equals 40, isn't it? So you times there, then you yeah. divide it and you get the answer. Yeah. Okay. Before you multiply this number, okay, you can simplify to make it easy. Right, not big, not big difference, okay? So when x is 24, actually value y should be 40, right? So 40 is the answer. Or I'm going to use this one. To use this one, we need to find the value of k, right? Okay. How can you find the value of k? We got two numbers. When x is 9, y is 15. k equals how much? When y is 15, x is 9. That is the value of k, right? It's okay. Can you see that? The value of k is about y over x. So y is 15, x is 9, that is equal to what? 3 uh, divided by 5, how much? Divided by 3 is what? 5 over 3, right? Now we're going to do this one. K is fine. The value of y always what? 5 over 3 times the value of x. That's the equation. Using this equation, you can find what the value of what? y when x is 24, right? Okay. When x is 24, what is the value of y? y equals 5 over 3, x equals 24. Put this number into the here. 5 times 24, 120 over 3, which is 40. It has the same number. You can use what, this number or this number. Is this R for you? Everybody can understand. Yeah. It's okay. What about Victoria? Yeah. What about Daliana? I'm here. Okay, you okay? Yeah. All right. And uh, Buriana? Yeah. Okay, Luis, are you okay? Yeah. Melly, you understood? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, I, I understand this is uh, our beginning, all right, to go into graph. Okay, maybe a little bit confused. By any way, in relation, proportional relation means what? Y value always what? K times the value of X, that's it. Okay? y equals k times x. This is with a proportional relationship. Looks like this one. If you have an apple. Apple, one apple is $2. Two apple, how much? Times two. Right? Three apple is a times three. Okay. The cost is what? The money will be Average two dollars, and you multiply to a number of apples, you got the value of y. Okay, there's no extra money over here. No extra money. Always what? When you have number of apples, just times two, you got the total amount. That is, we said these two number of apples and the number of costs. Right? Number of effort and cost, they are proportional relationship. Are you guys with me? Yeah. 
So the next one, for example, one uh, when you rent a video game, it costs a ten dollars one. Okay. So when you borrow the one video game, X equal one, the valuable Y is ten dollars. When X equal two, or Y equal twice twenty dollars. But when X equal three, the store owner can make discount. So Y equals maybe twenty five dollars. But this is not proportional. Okay. You understood? Because y is what always what 10 times the value of x is what is that? The number of video games. Video number two is gonna be 20. Okay, it's okay. Video number three should be 30, but this 25, this is this one is an proportional relationship. Variable x and y, but these two is okay, but third one is not proportional relationship. Always what? The variable y is same number of 10 times number of x, or is 10 times of value of x, okay? That is a proportional relationship. If we have any number over here, that is not proportional relationship. Okay, a little more proportional, okay? All right, number three. You guys read questions number three. What will be the equations? In a proportional relationship, proportional relationship, y is two, when y is two, x is eight. Which of the following equations would describe this relationship? This relation means what? Proportional relationship. Proportional relationship should be this form. Y equals K times X, this form. Always K times. This is not, this is not, but this is okay. K times X, K times X. But we need to find the, what? The valuable K, right? Using this one, the value of k is how much? Y over x, isn't it? Y over x, that is the value of k. We got the value of y over here, two. Value of x is eight, it's gonna be one fourth, isn't it? That means what? The value of y always one fourth times x. Okay, next equation, where is it? One. Is the answer. Are you guys with me? Still confused? Yeah, um, just a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Oh, that's fine. Okay, now we're gonna try number four. Don't make a rush. Ever I try number four, find out equation for y. Y equals four. This is a kind of equation, right? Just find the variable k because what they said between x and y. Okay, the variable x and y proportional relationship. So y should be goes in this form. That's the equation form. Where to find the variable k, you can divide by x. Okay, to find the variable k, you can use y, one pair of x and value by y over x is the variable k. Isn't it? After you find the variable k, put this number over here, right? That's the equation. Okay, everybody try number A, okay? And keep going, number B. Finish up to the number B.
What is the value of k? Anybody got number k? Melly? Melly, you got the number k? Yes. What is, what is the number? What is it? Uh, is it seven over four? Oh, seven over four. Yeah, it's very one pair of a number that you know, right? The number of k obtained was y over eight. Y value is given, x value is given. So 14 over eight is what? Seven over four is the value of k, okay? Just express what equation form. This is equation form. So now the value of y is what? Seven over four times x. That's the equation. Everybody got this one? Y equals seven over four x. Okay, using the equation, we can find, okay, for any value of x, right? Okay, when x is 36, what is y? Okay, what is y when x equals 36? Put this number into the x over here, x equals 36. That is the value of y when x equals 36. How much is that? Oh, before you multiply, you better simplify. 36 divided by four is what, nine. This is one, right? 36 over four is nine. Now, seven times nine is how much? 63 is the value of y. Okay, so when x equals 36, the value of y is 63. When you make the line of your table, this is the value of x, this is the value of y. Always when x equals zero, y equals zero, okay? We start from here. So when x equals eight, y equals 14. Or when x equals 36, y equals 63. Right, that's the point. Always between these two, uh, 14 over eight is a seven over four, 63 over 46 is a seven over four, right? We just simplify. That's okay. So, this is slope. This is what slope, or how do they graph right changed? I told you seven over four means what is that? When move to the right, the four increased, seven increased up to right here, right? That's the next point. So y increases what seven units for every y, four unit increased in x. Or not f. That's the meaning. Okay, this by the okay, seven over four means seven over four means when x is increased by four, y increased by seven unit. That is we said slope. So the value of k actually equals what slope, right? Slow of the graph. All right, move on to the next one. Take a look. We have one more over here, okay? Same questions over here. Okay, everybody try this one, number five. Okay? Everybody try this number five. They said already proportional relationship. Proportional relationship means the value of y should be some constant times the value of x. Now we need to find the value of k. How can you find the value of k? Y over x from here. You can say right, divided by x divided by x y over x is the value of k, isn't it? Using just one pair of x and y, we can find the value of k over here. Which two numbers are given? Only these two numbers are given. The other way we don't know. So 
So what is the value of k? K equals y is a five, x is a three. That is the value of k. So how can you find the value of y? Y can be obtained, what is that? K equals five over three times the value of x. Okay, when you have the value of x, just times five over three, you will get the value of y. Okay, using this equation, fill out all the numbers of it. Seven blank there, okay? Fill out all the value of y. Okay, everybody try, okay? I'm done. All right, very good. So everybody can understand how to yeah. fill up the, how to find the value of y, okay? I can tell, so. All right, give me I the. I put the five, I put okay. negative five on right. negative three. Okay, negative three. Yeah. When it's called negative three, what is the value of y? This one, when x is called negative three, what is the value of y? Five. Probably a negative three over here, right? So you're gonna calculate five over three times negative three, isn't it? How much is that? Five over three times negative three, negative 15 over three, or you can take them out to what three and three, right? Negative five, this must be negative five, okay? So you can fill out this way. Okay, we're gonna jump up, okay? This one you guys know already. Remember, why the graph is a pass through zero and zero? Why? Why? Because relationship, proportional relationship graph looks like this or Y or always this form. From here, X equals zero, always Y equals zero, that's why. You can express it this way. All right. Now we're gonna have to write some uh, steer safety, right? Steer safety. Yeah, proportional relationship, y over x is a constant, that is the value of k. Once you find the value of k times x times x, you got this one, right? That is the equation for y equal k x. Okay, now one more over here. Uh, this is constant proportionality. Sometimes you can say unit rate. Okay, unit rate means what? When x is increased by one, y is increased by k. Maybe you can write the unit price. We just do the, we just did there, right? The price of our effort, unit price. Unit price means our unit rate. If we have a y equal three times x, when you have right three effort, three times three is about nine dollars. So this number is what unit rate is it? Unit price for one effort. Okay, if you buy one effort, you're gonna pay thirty dollars. If you wanna buy another additional one effort, you're gonna pay another. $3, that's the unit price. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Okay, we're gonna try number exercise one there, okay? Yeah, the weight of water is proportional to each value. Yeah, this is a war problem. The weight of water proportional to each value. What is the between? I'm gonna use the weight is W. Value means B. Proportional means what is that? W equals K times 
some constant times the other variable. We have right two variable, okay? Variable will be W and B the variables. So you can write down weight equals what? K times B, right? Do you understand this one? All right. So now let's find K, okay? Now let's find the K. How can you find the K? You can divide by B, K should be equal this way. K equals W over B, isn't it? From here, can you see that we are? Because we need two numbers, right? One pair of numbers. When W is how much and when W is the value over here? 50 gallons water. That's why a value, isn't it? So B equal 50 gallons. Where is the weight? 417 pounds. Wow, very big number, that is. Okay. This is the value of K. So the equation is W equals 417 over 50 and times B. That's the equation. Okay, that's the equations. But this number is a very uh, big number, which is slope, right? But that means volume is increased to, to the right is 50, W increased to 470, something like that. Very steep slope. This one is increased by 50. This is increased by 417, right? That's the slope. Okay, I'm gonna skip this one, okay? Same questions. Now, the next one, we're gonna learn speed. You know what is the speed? Okay, speed is what? Distance over time, that's the speed. If you travel 200 miles, 200 miles, that is distance. But speed is 50 miles, 50 miles per hour. That's the speed, MPH. Okay. The time will take is how much? 200 over 50 equals so it takes four hours. Okay. So, Time because what is that? Distance over speed. Or to find the speed, distance over travel time give us what? Speed, isn't it? To go to travel 200 miles, it takes what? Four hours. Each hour is how many speed? Divided by four hours. Everybody traveled about 50 miles per hour, right? That is speed. So you have to memorize this one first. Distance is what speed times time, or speed is what distance over time, or time is what distance over speed. It's okay. Usual speed is what rate, R. So D equals R times T or R equals what? D over T or time equals what? D over R speed. You know how to get this number, right? Okay. Distance is given. D equals distance is 54 times T. What that means? What is this number 54? Anybody know this number 54? If t is zero, there's no travel distance. If t is zero, there's no travel. Distance also zero. If t is one, one hour, distance is 54. What that means, 54. Speed is 54, right? Speed is about travel distance, for the one hour, for the one hour trap, this is 54. 
안 되나보네. 문제 없지, 인터넷? 응. It's okay. So, two hours driving, two times speed is about 54, one hour travel 54 miles. So, distance will be 54 times two, 108 miles. That is okay. Now, if we travel right three hours, what a distance? 54 times three. 54 times three is 162 miles. Okay, 162 miles. Okay, anyway, what does car speed? Car speed is what? This number is speed, okay? 54 miles per hour. And how far will the car travel in three hours? Distance is what it is, speed times three hours. Okay, traveled what, 162 miles. Are you guys with me? Three hours, 162 miles they traveled. All right, exercise four. Now move on exercise four. Yeah, we have a graph there. We have a graph. What is the speed of the car using this one? Speed of a car is what distance when travel one hour, right? When travel one hour, that distance is what speed. That's the approximate what is it? A little more than 50, right? This is 50. Maybe you can say, oh, we can say over here, that's almost what like intersection of here. Better use this point. This point is what when travel three hours, it's going to 200 miles, right? So one hour is 100 miles. So you can divide by three, right? 200 divided by three. 6, 18, and 20, 6, 18, and 20, 6.6, .6, around what? 67.7 miles per hour. That's the speed. Are you guys with me? Yeah. All right. Okay, maybe this is hard for you guys. Okay, one more over here, okay? Anyway, uh, distance is what speed times time. Remember, okay? All right, now everybody try this one, exercise five. Trinity runs 147 meters. It takes what, 35 seconds. Okay. Now we're gonna find what? Speed is a constant. So we're gonna find the what equation. Distance. Distance is speed times time. Equation means what well, for any time t, usually this is a t. We need the speed over here, right? Anyway, we just speed. That is distance. How can you find the speed? You over here, you got the data over here. To travel 147 meters, it takes 35. The speed is how much? Speed equals 147 over 35, isn't it? This is what the unit is a meter per second, right? That's the speed. 147 over 35. You can simplify, divide by seven. You can divide by seven is how much? 21 divided by seven is a five. When you divide by five, there's about 4.2 miles per second. That's the speed. 
So we're gonna find the equation between distance and time. We use the variable, right? Distance and time is the variable now, right now, but constant needs us. Speed is a constant, okay? This is a variable, okay? So 4.2 times t, that's the equation. So y equals 4.2 times t, that's the equation. Okay, so how long will it take to run one kilometer? One kilometer is 1,000 meter. When did 1,000 meter, how long will it take? So 1,000 meter equals what? 4.2 times t. Then from here, we can solve for t. Divided by 4.2 and divided by 4.2. Okay. All right, that's fine. Okay. So 1000 divided by 4.2, you can use a calculator. Okay, that's fine. All right, 1,000 divide 4.2. It takes what, 200 approximately. It takes what, 238 seconds. That's the answer. Okay, this, uh, let me see. Okay, we're gonna try this one, okay? Uh, this one first. When you have a proportional relationship graph, okay, equation y equals one over four x, that's why k times x, isn't it? From here, which number is a slope? Which number is a slope? Can you give, anybody can give me the slope? Always the value of k, this number is a slope, okay? This number always slope. What that means? When move to the right four, up by one, right? That's the slope. Slope is what is there? Change in y over change in x, that's the slope, okay? This is a slope. This is a slope, okay? Okay, now you can write down the slope of here, okay? When you have a one fourth, so actually coefficient of x, that's the slope actually. So one fourth is a slope, one third is a slope, one half is a slope, this is x only one is slope. Okay? If you got the slope, you can make graph very easier way. Slope is one pulse, what is that? From here, all with x equal to y equal to, we start from this point, starting point. How to make a graph? Using slope to the right four unit, up is one unit, that's the pattern. This is next point, this is what starting point. Okay, from here to the right one, one up. That's it, no more, out of range. The next one is why you can go down from here to the left, one down, four left, one down, four left. That's the next point. Okay, that's the graph.
What is the graph of y for one third of x? Slope is one third. One third is what is that? From starting point to the right three, one up. That is one third. Okay. So from start to the right three, one third, that is the next point. So this one, from here to the left, one down to the left. One down, I'm sorry, three left. One down to the left, no more. So graph look like this way. Now slope is one half. Two right to one up, right? Two right to one up. That next one, two right to one up. So from here to, to the left, right? One down to left, one down to left, one down to left. That's the graph. Is it okay? Maybe next time, so okay, we can try okay, how to graph of the way you're using slope, okay? But don't worry about that. That's why we have to learn, okay, the graphing. So y equal to x, where's the slope? This number just slope already, what like coefficient of x you said slope, okay? So slope is two. What that means? Two is what, two over one? or four over two, it doesn't matter. One right, two off. They give us what? Their pattern, how do they increase? Increasing pattern or decreasing pattern, okay? So they give us what some pattern. How do they move? When y equal three x slope is what? This slope is three, that's the slope. Everybody can understand? Dr. Chung? Yeah. Uh, uh, I should I should have told, um, so I'm not gonna be here next week. I'm gonna try to join the classes, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I'll be able to. Okay, so, I'm recording the lecture, okay? Yeah. Okay, and if that. somehow the recordings don't work, are you free on a Saturday or a Sunday? Oh yeah. Okay, after uh, I'm recording, I'm gonna send out in the same day, okay? Okay, All right. thank you. So anyway, we start again the graph, okay? We'll start again, okay, the graph next time, okay? For, for the given equations, okay? There are many different linear equations, not only by zero here, right? When you have a general view, we said X and Y is a proportional relationship. But sometimes they have a graph look at this way. They have a Y intercept over here. Initial value different. This is initially Y equal zero. This is initially Y equal three, right? They're gonna start from here. Okay, all right. So don't worry about that, okay? The next times we're gonna try again, okay? To graph a linear function, okay? So forget about the right proportion, it doesn't matter, okay? And just so for the given linear function, okay? We're gonna learn how to graph next week, okay? All right. Any questions about this? Everybody, I think, are confused. All right. So we can go easier way, okay? Now we, I think we better go easier way. All right, over here, yeah, we better try this one first, okay? Slope. Oh, this is good, okay? All right, for examples, forget about the meaning. When you have, I'm gonna use a like different one, okay? Uh, after this will finish, okay? When you have this a y equals negative two third of x plus four. But this is not anymore, this is not proportional relationship because we get the number four over here, right? Okay? Because starting number, when starting number zero, that is a proportional relationship. 
when starting when x equals zero, when x equals zero, this is zero, y equals four, this is starting point of your that is not proportional relationship. Okay, okay, forget about this anyway. How to make a graph? How to make a graph? To make a graph of this one, we need what starting point? And slope to find the next point. Are you guys with me? We are just starting point. The value of x, y, when x equals zero. Over here, when x equals zero, what is the value of y? y equals what is the negative two thirds when x equals zero oh they all go zero and plus four y equals four isn't it so when x equals zero y is four when x equals zero y is four that is the starting point we can start from this point after that follow the slope where is the slope coefficient of x is slope this is slope put this number negative up and down it doesn't matter Okay, I'm gonna put this one is what up over here slope. I'm gonna I'm gonna the slope. Put this negative one up here to so negative two over three. I'm gonna use this one. What that means? Negative two over three. This is a positive. Is a move to the right. Okay, that means what? I'm gonna write down to the right three. Negative two is not up, down, right? Negative means down to that. Right to the right three, down to that's the pattern. Using this pattern, you can find the next point over here. This is starting point, you can find next point. Can you guys tell me? Okay. All right, now try this one. After you finish, okay? Just give me one second. This starting point, we got this point. Right three, two down. Right three, two down. That is the next point because the slope is negative, means what decreasing. Okay. Now for the pattern, three right, two down. Three right, two down. Okay. Now to go from here to the left, two up, three left. Two up, three left. Two up, three left. That's the next point. Two up, three left. That's the last point, okay? Now make it a line over here. It's okay, that's the graph. Okay, we're gonna load this one next time, okay? Using slope and starting point. Using slope. And starting point. This starting point is called what? Y intercept. Y intercept. Because starting point always was intercept with Y axis. Okay, so this number is called Y intercept. Okay, all right. Any questions about this? All right, if not, okay, don't worry about that. Okay, next time it'll be easy, okay? So how we graph, right? This is a linear function, okay? After that, we'll come back again, this work, okay? Next time, so you're gonna try all the white graph, all right? Okay, if you don't have any questions, now we will finish the lecture today, okay? So everybody have a great weekend. I'll see you next week, okay? Bye, everybody.